box drill. Uh, what I try to do here is set up four cones anywhere from four yards apart. They can be five yards apart. They can be three yards apart. But just create a, a four cone box. What I do the first part of the drill is quick feet. Where I'm working quick movement, ball in a good shelf position. Then go to tapioca, tapioca to uh, back pedal, and back pedal to a three step drop. Um, what it simulates is just movement and pocket awareness and just foot fundamental in, in the drop. Then I would add to it is just see if I can get the ball out of their hands with quick movement. They're in the pocket. I'd like them to be looking left as they're working. Tapioca looking left. Back pedal. Three step drop with a throw. Just quick movement. Body control. Body control right here. Good movement. Tapioca, just quick karaoke, except we tapioca, it's quick movement and quick feet. Three, hitch, throw, good movement there. Quick work there, the pocket, hitching up slightly. The end drill um, is executed with the same uh, box that you use or, or space that you're having. We take a three step drop. Angle hitch up into the pocket on an angle where you're going to have pressure from inside or outside and it forces you on an angle up into the pocket and then a retreat uh, back into a three step drop. Looking for aggressive movement on the angle. We really want them to get them to push up, push up hard in the pocket and then accelerate back out on your drive. Drive back out. So it's movement. Hitch up quicker than we're looking for. Really want to see a suddenness to the movement. Ball in a good stand in a good shelf position with eyes up the field. One, two, three, hitch up hard. Ball in a good shelf position. Hitch up. There it is. up, sudden movement, defensive end rush, the M drill is now, it's basically creating the end drill, only thing we're doing differently is just a sudden movement up in the pocket, a quick step, and then retreat back out, so not much has changed, um, other than we're trying to make sure that we create a suddenness in the movement, three step drop on the angle hitch, short step. Short step, drive back out. And here we want them to make sure that they kick out hard with a suddenness and explosiveness back out of the way. All of a sudden you got somebody trying to grab you and you've got to retreat yourself up and back out with quick movement. That's it. You can see the movement slight angled away because of pressure in the pocket. That's what we're trying to simulate right here. It's just a sudden movement. We tell our quarterbacks that movement in the pocket doesn't always have to be a five yard or a six yard in width movement, but that we're trying to make sure that we move quickly in and out of the pocket, slight to create a throwing lane. So it may be a yard, could be half a yard, could be two yards. But big thing here is finding movement, and whether it's a scramble drill or whatnot, it's the sudden movement. You can see the angle there, and you can see the suddenness on an angle up and out of the pocket. Up and gone. Ball's tucked away. Three, up, back. There's your M drill right there. And it's best. Sudden movement is up, back out. Up, back out. All right, this is the Sanchez drill. This is something we've done for Mark Sanchez, watching some of his development in the 
pocket. You take two cones, it could be anywhere from a yard and a half to two yards. You could, uh, three yards is probably a little too far, but you're probably about a yard and a half is what you're looking for. Uh, the cones are spread uh, evenly so that all you can get uh, numerous quarterbacks in to work the drill. What we designate as the area is one, area two, area three, and area four on the cone. So um, what we try to do is I will give them a number, one, they work accordingly around the cone to the one side, back to the north starting position. I can give them four, and they'll go to four, around four, back into a starting position. And then like uh, much like you can go into two, into three, and whatnot, and try to get them to all four areas of the cone to get them back in a position, just developing quick movement in the pocket. Once you develop that and the kid's got a good handle on this, I add switch to it where I'll go one, four, switch. They've got to reach reverse their direction and I still give them a command they still got to work one two three and four it's great execution for good body presence and movement within the pocket here I give them the number uh, this was early when we started uh, developing this drill what I like to do is keep their eyes up once they get a feel for the movement uh, their eyes will be up looking down the field and uh, will not have to look down but just gives you a good example of the quick movement the suddenness in the pocket which they've got to do throughout a game or in a uh, passing situation where they got to move quickly in and out of the pocket or to avoid a rush. Move slightly, throw. Move to the right, throw. See the pass rush coming, slight movement. Good thing about it is the kids get to see this on the film and all the drills that you're developing and the fundamentals shows up on film and it's a great teaching tool for them. Slight movement right. Next, next uh, drill we utilize is the saber drill. That's where we're going to create a figure eight in our movement. So you're going to have cones um, probably at about, oh, about three to four and a half yards apart. Um, and then you're going to have them going right to left at about a yard and a half too as well. What we're trying to do is create movement within the pocket and this simulates much what you see some oftentimes in a game situation. Give them a directional, right, back to the starting position, up, back. And once again, we just learned, learned to do these drills uh, early in the spring. These, a lot of these cuts are from the spring. And uh, now they got to a point where they don't even have to look down. They have a good feel for how to move within the pocket, keeping their eyes up. A lot of times I'll give them directional, I'll give them a right, a left, I'll give them a verbal command or a visual command. Visual command is when they start getting pretty good at the feel of how to do the drill. They'll move accordingly with your visual. Just quick movement. Presence, eyes are good down the field, balls in a good shell position. I like to keep the hands on the ball, try to teach that as much as possible. Don't separate the hands, especially with movement in the pocket with people trying to grab and pull. Try to keep two hands on the ball as much as possible. Here's the game application of it. Slight movement where it may not be a figure eight, but it's the movement you're looking for. Up, out. It's probably one of the better examples right here of this one here, trying to make something happen. 